three, two, one. Hello YouTube, this is Cody with Search My Deck TCG, bringing you a beginner tip. Today it's a quick little video, I just wanted to do something nice and simple, and we're just going to be dissecting a pack, um, as the title I'm sure says, just a Sun and Moon pack specifically, because X and Y packs are a little different slightly, and who knows what Sword and Shield packs are going to offer, we don't know yet. So it's just going to be a quick little video talking about what to um, expect in a pack. I think when I do some openings, sometimes I just talk about stuff that, um, if you're not familiar, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So we're talking about how much ra about the rares, the placements of everything, just just what to expect in a pack because the Sun and Moon packs are the same 11 cards um, in the normal sets. The holiday sets I might be a little different. So we're just going to go through a nice Guardians Rising. Maybe we can pull something cool while we're at it. So first things first, let's put the code, we'll save the code for last. And let's talk about the energy. So when I talk about doing the pack trick, the energy is the fourth card from the top. Consider that if you call the top of where the cards are face down, there will always be an energy in there um, for Sun and Moon packs. So that is why you just flip that away, because that takes away the exciting stuff. Um, and so then, we, we're not going to do a full pack trick here though, instead, we're just going to talk about... Um, yeah, we're just going to talk about what's all in it. So, you have, every time, you can have the first five cards from... Um, hey, look, we get some. That's cool. Alright, so your first, focus, your first five cards are going to be... Um, your commons, your basic Pokemon, usually your, a lot of times your your basics of a stage um, one, which is kind of, or of a, of a stage two, a lot of times, sometimes basic stage one, just any of your baby basics that don't evolve are going to be your commons, denoted by the plain round symbol, um, by the set number there in the bottom uh, left corner. So, five commons at the um, t front of a pack. Then, your sixth card is going to be your rare, or not your rare, sorry, your hollow. We're already messing this up. Your hollow it can be a rare, it could be uh, just a common or uncommon, any sort of, anything. Um, yeah, it can be hollow rare. Um, it's just going to be your nice shiny set little pattern that glares in the light. It's energy louder this time, not a bad card. And then, we have the next card is going to be the oh, the rare so your actual rare um, because sometimes you can get a hollow rare um, but it's not guaranteed it can be a hollow common or hollow uncommon but you're guaranteed a rare um, it's going to be the seventh card in the pack every time every pack in a sun and moon um, may not always be a nice GX like this though any sort of rare um, which we will denote of course I didn't expect to pull a GX I thought I would just Actually, wait, what, what am I doing? Video retention. Video retention. Um, so actually, you can see the star up in the corner there. Right there. It's kind of hard to see in this camera view, but it's a nice little star. This time it's white because that's an ultra rare, but just normal rares just have a regular star. It's a black star to indicate that it is your rare. And then your last three cards, then you have your energy. And your last three cards are your uncommons, which are denoted by your diamonds. Um, that's where you can get a lot of your your basic Pokemon that don't evolve, um, or your um, stage one, your your mid evolutions. Use your uncommons. Um, some some final evolutions of some stage ones will be uncommons, but stage two evolutions are always almost always uh, rares. And as are any sort of GX or um, is also going to be your rare always. So, we have a nice tur full out Turtonator, so that's pretty cool, not going to complain. So that is everything that's in a X and, er, everything in a Sun and Moon pack. Laid out on the table there, five commons, three uncommons, one energy, one hollow, can be rare, common, or uncommon, and then one rare, in this case, is a nice shiny Turtonator. So I hope that was kind of helpful. The last thing to go over is the colored codes. So you see you got a white code and a green code. White codes are always going to denote a hollow rare or 
better. So sometimes you can pull your rare card. Let's say in this instance, um, a regular Decidueye. You know, it's not in the set, but we'll say a regular Decidueye. You can just get one that's just nice and uh, it can be a rare, just nice and flat like that. Or you can get one that's hollow. So if you are opening hollow. So if you're opening your packs and you see the white code, um, it's a hollow rare or better guaranteed. So if you see a green code, you c because a ultra rare, at, um, which is the GXs, are always considered better than hollow rares. So if you see a green code, you will never have a, a GX. So a lot of times, if people say they open the pack and they immediately see the green code and they lose excitement, because you will never, in it, unless for some reason the pack is mismatched. Um, or green codes put there incorrectly, which I'm sure happens. People are just human, but most of the time, if you see green code, you are not going to get anything better than a normal rare. White code means you are promised a hollow rare or better, possibly an ultra rare. So that is what is in a Sun and Moon pack. I hope this was helpful. Um, if you like more videos like this, leave a comment down below. Tell me what else you kind of want me to dissect. Set of Moon packs, the ones I'm most familiar with. I know, I know X and Y packs. I think are pretty similar with the layout goes. I think they just don't have the energy. But black and white packs and onward, I have basically no idea. But I can definitely find out something you guys are interested in, and I can do more videos like this. Um, I hope you liked it, despite my rambling. Rambling is what I do. It's part of my charm by now, hopefully. Well, thank you very much for your time. This is Cody with Search My Deck TCG. Signing out.